In this video, we will learn how you can automatically get notifications on Zoho Click for every new Zendesk ticket automatically. So as you all know, Zendesk is a ticketing software and Zoho Click is a team communication software just like Slack. And here I want that as soon as a new ticket is created into Zendesk, me and my team should automatically get a notification on a Zoho Click channel so that me and my team should always be updated about the new ticket generations along with all the ticket details or the ticket issue so if you also want to automate this process come with me and i'll show you the whole process step by step so this is the dashboard of zendesk and i want that whenever a new ticket is generated i should get notified on one of my zoho click channel and for that i'll have to connect these application and i'm going to do that with the help of pabli connect well it is an amazing integration and automation software and you can also reach here by typing pabli.com slash connect i will also attach this link in my description box now if you are a new user you will have to sign up for free where you will also get free tasks to test these kinds of amazing automation i'm already an existing user of public connect so that is why i'm clicking on signing and then i have clicked on access now and this is how you can also reach out to the dashboard of public connect now Firstly, you will have to click on this blue button create workflow and just provide a random name to your workflow to your automation. So let's say I'm providing the name as when new ticket is generated in Zendesk, get notified on Zoho click channel. Okay, click on this blue button create and you will actually find two boxes in front of you once again. These are actually trigger and action trigger means when this happens action means do this so whenever this happens do this understand with an example whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application let's say send an email via gmail application well here according to our use case whenever the ticket is generated as in zendesk application automatically get a notification on zoho click application so that is why you need to always select the applications in which you are setting up an automation and in this video i am setting up an automation in between zendesk and zoho click so that is why zendesk will be the trigger application and i want as soon as a new ticket is generation generated this automation should trigger so that is why i have selected this particular trigger event and after selecting these two here you can see a webhook url and few set of instructions so we are going to connect zendesk account with the pabli connect with the help of this webhook url and by following up these instructions instructions so firstly as per the instruction you will have to copy this webhook url and it is clearly asking to click the admin in the sidebar and then click to go to admin center so let us go back to zendesk dashboard and here i have the admin option i have clicked on that and here is the go to admin center option coming back here now it is asking to select the uh, then from the left sidebar go to apps and integration and click on the webhook okay so let us check in the left hand side i have this app and integration option here i will search for the webhook option okay i have reached to the webhook section now from the blue top button top right button i will click on this button create webhook and i am going to create a new webhook okay so click on that button and under these two events you will have to select this trigger or automation so i have selected the same clicking on next and asking to provide the webhook name so i am providing the name as automation of zendesk tickets Alright, so I have provided the name which is mandatory. Description is also optional, so I will leave it blank. Asking to provide the endpoint URL. Well, it is the same endpoint URL which I have copied from the Pabli Connect and pasted. Again, read the instructions. It is asking to choose the request method type as post and here request format type as JSON. Okay, so I have selected the post, the JSON. Now, finally, I will click on test webhook as per the instructions. Okay, so click the test to webhook button and then send the test and click on create so here you will see that it is waiting for the webhook response so what i'm going to do is i'll click on this test webhook button and then as soon as i will click on the send test the response the test response which is available here 
will be initiated basically the response will be received immediately here into the public connect here you can see a testing ticket has been generated here that is other tag enterprise we have the subject as hello my printer is on fire the ticket status is open hi we have the ticket id and finally the ticket description the fire is very colorful okay so uh, the step is not done yet you will even have to follow you will again have to follow the instructions okay so after that you will have to go to the object and rules and then business rules and to the trigger okay so before that i'll first click on this button create webhook and click on finish setup okay so this is how this is how my webhook is actually set up now click on close and here you will have to you need to connect your webhook to a trigger or automation for it work okay so here you will find an option of admin center you can directly click on this particular link and this is how you will reach to this part particular section and from here i am going to add a new trigger by clicking on this button so i have selected add new trigger okay it is taking time all right now here i am going to provide the trigger name something like again zendesk automation with zoho click channel i have just provide provided a random name okay description again it is optional category so under the category you will have to search for you will have to select for the notification because of course i want to receive the notification so i'll go with this particular category okay now let us read the instructions once again okay so click on add connection from meet all of the following condition and select the ticket is created okay so under this meet all of the following condition you'll have to first click on this add connection sorry add a condition and here we want the notification to receive whenever the ticket is created so i have set this condition that i should receive the notification whenever the ticket is created well let us proceed for the and now i will finally click on create but before that let us once again read the instructions okay so finally we have selected this particular condition now it is asking to click click on add and click on add action and choose to notify active webhook then select created webhook name or from the drop down okay so again after selecting the trigger i'll have to select the action as well and here we have the add action button asking to select the notify active webhook so let us search for the same so here we have the notify active webhook now it is asking to select that particular action which we have just created so remember we have just set up an automation we have just set up the webhook url with the name automation of zendesk ticket you'll have to select that particular uh, automation which you have recently created and as soon as you will select it you will see that a json body will appear so what you'll have to do is whatever for the details you would like to receive here into this particular response you can specify the same here in this particular box in the json format and now what is this the json format and how you are going to do that no problem just to copy these instructions from here okay so this is how you'll have to copy this particular data and paste it here and this is how okay i'll have to remove the extra curly braces because the curly braces were already provided okay so this is how whatever the you would like to receive so i i want to if i want to receive the ticket id i can define it in this particular way the ticket title the ticket description the url status priority let's say i do not want the group name so i am going to delete this particular entry and other than that i also want to receive the username basically the name of the person who is actually creating the ticket okay so from where and how i am going to define that particular section so again if you will click on this view available placeholder you will find all the details so from here exactly you just need to copy that particular key all right so i want to receive the the email and the first name of the ticket requester so i am going to first copy the email okay so first i am going to paste the same all right but before that i'll have to specify the first thing here as well so firstly i am going to add i'm going to put two inverted commas in this inverted comma i'll paste the same thing all right and as it is given in the above line i will put one 
colon and then again inverted comma start inverted comma end so this is how you can also write the details in this way okay so this is how you can actually specify that whatever you would like to receive well here one comma is missing so i have provided the same the comma at the end and this is the last value so you do not need to provide the comma but no this is not a last value along with the email i also want the first name and the last name for that again i'll have to search for the first name syntax okay so i have the first name as this again copy and here i am going to put two inverted commas here i'm going to paste the same thing and first remove these two curly braces all right so i have removed these two again put a colon give a space and again paste the same thing again it should be within the inverted comma so this is how you can specify all the things okay after the first name how about we also uh, take the last name as well so where we have the last name okay so we have the last name as this so again i'm going to copy it here i will put two inverted commas and the colon here i'm going to paste the same thing and then firstly i'm going to remove these extra curly braces after that again i am going to add two inverted commas and then finally paste the exact thing which you have copied and this is how you can define that whatever you would like to receive in the form of json body with the help of this placeholders and instruction for the same are already given here now i will click on this recapture webhook response button once again and then i am going to generate a new ticket into the zendex okay so read the instructions waiting for the webhook response log into the application where you have added the webhook url and do a test submission or record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response well it is asking to do a test submission and here the test submission means generating a new ticket into zendex so let us generate a new ticket before that i'll have to create this particular section and here you can see success the trigger zendesk automation is actually created now i'll go back to the home section and i am going to first to create a new ticket all right so here is the dashboard and with this plus icon i will generate a new ticket okay i am creating this ticket from the back end only but you'll have to assume that let's say you are receiving a new ticket into your zendesk ticket so now on what's what will happen every new ticket details will be captured by pabli connect here in this particular response and this time along with these six to seven details i will receive more details because here into this json body i have specified clearly that i will or i would also like to receive the last name the first name and the email of the person i think i have missed the comma here so i'll have to put the extra comma okay a at the end of every statement i'll have to put a, a comma but not at the last statement okay now finally i will save uh, this particular thing okay i think it is already saved okay now finally i will go back to the uh, zendesk dashboard and again i am going to create a ticket from the back end because right now i do not have any live website where i can actually embed my chat system and from where i can actually receive the tickets so that is why i am creating the ticket from the back end okay so requester i am going to add a new user so assume that uh, desk at the rate okay the name of the person is actually dummy customer and his email address is desk at the rate pablitudes.com again i will proceed only with the testing details De desk at the rate pablitudes.com all right and it is actually the end user not a staff member click on add and uh, assignee well i would like to assign it to the support team member one of the support team member and the type is actually a problem and assume that the priority of this particular query is high or let's say urgent okay and the subject is issue with the air conditioner okay so assume that you sell the air conditioner basically you have a showroom of that and someone has purchased the air conditioner from your site and he is facing an issue so that is why he is sharing his problem with you uh, by dropping an email to you or by generating a ticket okay so this is how that we are going to create the ticket okay so hello i have purchased an ac from you and it has stopped working suddenly okay please send someone 
to fix it as soon as possible okay so assume that someone is actually writing you this particular problem okay submit as a new okay i'll submit it uh, submit this ticket as a new okay here you can see issue with hair conditioner dummy customer is actually making a request and now i will go back to pably connect and here you can see the response has been received Im immediately uh, let us check the response yes issue with the air conditioner the ticket status is open the task priority is urgent and we even have have the description as this let us check the description hello i have purchased an ac from you and it has stopped working suddenly please send someone to fix it as soon as possible we have the assignee name also let us check for other details all right so we have the email the last name and the first name of the person and finally the email of the person as well now i would like to notify to my team that a new ticket has just generated and they should actually uh, reply to this particular query so for that i'll have to search for the zoho click because my team is having a channel on zoho click so i'm going to send the channel messages via zoho click and in action event of course i want to send a channel message so i'll select the same now click on connect and i'm going to connect my zoho click channel with the pably connect so connect with the zoho click and here i have zoho dot in so i'll copy the same and paste it here okay you will have to check your domain and this is how you can build Build a connection in between Zoho Click and uh, Pably Connect. Okay, now it will directly ask you to provide the access, and I am already logged in in my Zoho account, so that is why it is not asking me the credentials, but directly asking me the permission for that. Okay, I'll have to check what is wrong with this. Okay, I'll ha I'll have to copy this once again, pasting it here, clicking on save, clicking on this button, connect with the Zoho Click option. All right, waiting for that. Click on accept, and this is how your uh, Zoho Click account will be immediately. connected with pably connect all right waiting for this connection to be made and here you can see the authorization is successful and my zoho click account is connected with pably connect now the very first thing it is asking to select is the channel name so whatever the channels i have into my zoho click account have started visible here so let us go back to the zoho click account and here let us go to the channel section and here you can see i have the channel as the education and int pap and here you can see i have two channel with the name education and int pap so how about i create a new channel uh, in front of you and i am going to select this organizational level okay and the name of my channel is actually ac issues all right and uh, for now i'll directly click on this button create channel and here you can see i have the channel name as the ac issues coming back to pably connect and if i'll click on this refresh button you will see the same channel will be started visible here into this channel section all right i'll have to wait and here you can see i have have the ac issues and i want to notify to the people in this particular channel so that is why i'll have to select the same and under this channel i am going to add all the people all of my team member okay under the message well whatever the message you would like to compose and send it to your team you'll have to paste it there. you'll have to compose that message from here i have already prepared one message into my notepad so how about we directly copy this particular message and paste it here so i have done the same let us correct the formatting of this particular message all right so hello a new ticket has been generated here are the details of the ticket and here i am going to map the ticket title the username the user email and of course the issue if you want to provide and try to solve the ticket as soon as possible and from where i am going to provide these details basically the user email the issue the username and the title well don't worry we have I've just received these details in the above step and i am going to map the same details here in this particular fields okay these are the details and i don't need to copy and paste it manually if you will click on this particular section you will find the above data here into the drop down let me show you so firstly i'm going to map the ticket title so let us search for the title and we have the title as issue with the air conditioner which i have mapped successfully second thing it is asking 
looking for the username so how about i search for the username basically who is actually raising the issue raising the ticket okay so i have the username as dummy customer so this is the first name okay i think i have mapped it at the wrong place again place your cursor at the correct position give a space and again map your first name and the last name basically the user's first name and the last name here is the user's first name give a space and again i'm going to map the user's last name so okay i have mapped the first name and last name as well now finally it is asking for the email address let us search it directly with the help of at the rate and here we have the ticket requester email i have mapped and in case you want to map the issue in case you want to share the issue also with your team you can map your issue as well but sometimes this issue the content of the issues could be very lengthy so it is totally up to you whether you would like to share it with your team or not so here is the ticket description for now i am going to map the same so just to show you that how things can be done now it is asking to select the bot name the bot image well in this particular automation i am going to leave it blank but if you want to provide you can read the instructions and provide the same now you must be thinking that whatever the details i have mapped so what is this mapping all about okay so whatever the details i'll map here these details will automatically replace when this automation will work in real time so what will happen as soon as the new ticket will be generated the details will be captured by public connect here and the new details will replace these the existing values if you have mapped it but just in case you have provided any detail manually the details will remain same so that is why mapping is important and this is how this automation is going to work now finally i'll be clicking on this button save and send test request and you will see the response will be received immediately yes the response is received and here we have the zoho click dashboard and here we have the ac issues channel let me close this particular one and here you can clearly see that the message has been arrived okay so hello a new ticket has been generated here are the details of the ticket the ticket title is issue with the air conditioner the username is dummy customer here we have the user email and finally the whole issue so this is how now onwards as soon as someone is going to generate a ticket in your zendesk basically whenever you will receive a new ticket you will all you can also get notified yourself on your zoho channel so that you do not have to manually log into the software and check for the new ticket you can directly get the notifications here you and your team can directly get the notifications on zoho click channel automatically with the help of pabli connect because you just need to set this automation inside pabli connect just once and after that everything will work in the back end pabli connect will take care of all the task in the back end i will also attach the shareable link in my description box so just in case if you want to clone this workflow simply click on this particular link sign up for free in the pabli connect and the same workflow will be cloned into your account that too for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pabli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video